All right, everyone. We're going to be making an IBC tote aquaponic system, and that's the marriage of aquaculture and aquaponics. And so we're going to have fish in the bottom and plants up top. But I'm going to step by step this for you. The first tool that I used was this. It's kind of an odd uh, star end, and that just happened to be the uh, the bolts that I had on these two top bars. So you got to take those off so that the tank will slide out of the cage. All right, and the next thing, I just use that same tool here and just uh, pop off like so. And this part here just kind of, you can just pop that off too. But yank off these things. Then the next thing, get your grinder. And we're going to grind right here. And that's so we have this nice cage segment for the uh, top grow bed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll catch you up. All right. I got that cut. took me about 10 minutes. It's a bit of a journey, but that's the step that's uh, probably the most uh, dangerous step where you want to use protective equipment, uh, you know, ear protection, eye protection. Watch how you're grinding and cutting with that with that uh, grinder, but you can cut these in different places. I'm going for this a nice rack for the grow bed here, and I'm also going for a nice bottom because it's going to be sitting in dirt. Some people cut them down here, and they'll use this bottom section for their grow bed on top. Um, now, if you had this pointing down, then this would just shove directly into the earth with all that weight. So there's a little bit of engineering in this, where you cut it and how you deal with the ends of this. But I'll show you how I'm going to deal with that in just a sec. And here's how I dealt with all those pieces sticking up. I pretty much just went ahead and cut them all off. And so now I'm got, I've got two nice cages that are going to work really well for the fish tank and really well for the grow bed. Here's the thing. Um, sort of a simplified rule of thumb is a one-to-one -one ratio. So if I had, let's say, three feet tall of uh, this fish tank and the same dimensions one foot tall of this grow bed, I could actually have three grow beds this size off of a fish tank this size. So using that logic, I decided to go ahead and just lose a little bit of height off of, uh, you know, I lost uh, eight inches or so of height off my fish tank, but I'm going to still um, be really good with that ratio for this being a standalone aquaponic system and not hooking up to a bunch of other beds or anything. And um, not only that, I got two nice cages and I have the foundation down at the bottom so I can put this in the dirt. So these are all things I considered. You look at some other designs and uh, those are some of the things I didn't like and tried to improve in this design, but I'll show you the next step in a minute. All right, next step, next tools. Use some sort of a straight edge and a sharpie and mark all around the tank where you want to cut it with your jigsaw. A uh, jigsaw cuts through it real nice and easy, so I'll go ahead and do that. Almost at the final stage here. All this wiring I'm going to tuck underneath and have that all routed into some sort of plastic container. Got my light hooked up. The T5 bulbs, uh, the ones I like the best. Uh, started framing everything out, sort of just mock fitting everything. I got to get some more lumber. Got my pump in there, the aerator. Got my hole in the bottom. So uh, you can start to see what it looks like at this stage, but not quite done. Alright, I thought I'd show you the next step I just completed. I ground down all the edges really nice, and then I built this wood frame. So basically, it's just a two by fours, but don't forget, we also have this metal bracing underneath on the cage. And that's one way, one of the reasons I like this design much more than any of the others. And then you got the solid foundation if you wanted to put this on dirt. So. Uh, just completed the wooden triangle, and I'll go on to the next step. 
thought I'd show you this before I put the top back on. Uh, when you're doing your wood edging, if you want to do that, you can screw straight down into these metal, the metal framework. And it actually grabs really tight. So all of this is now all screwed together and screwed down to the tank. Also, on this fish tank part, you can tuck tuck everything under. You can't even really see it, but you can pin the tank in with the screw. Just hide them so people can't see them or get caught on them. And then your tank is all tucked in nice, and you got a nice wood edging. But uh, there's that before I put the uh, grow bed on top. You wouldn't be able to see it as well. All right, next up. Pretty much wrapping this up. Got a nice little shelf here from our triangle support structure. And this is going to go in a greenhouse. So I just tucked all the electrical underneath. You could put, uh, you know, mount underneath there a waterproof container and put all that in there and silicone up any holes. That would be a pretty legit way to do it. But there's that and our lighting, T5 lighting. Only 25 watts. And then I'm going to just, you could do a bell siphon if you're going to do ebb and flow type of a system. Um, I'm going to use cinders and just a little bit of hydrocroton, a little bit of dirt on top, and just do sort of a deep water culture. So I want it to kind of have water at the bottom and larger rocks, and then um, the plant's roots will have to go down quite a bit to get to water. But uh, when they do, they'll go crazy. And uh, there's that, the lighting. Pretty much wrapping this up. Let's go ahead and look inside. All the wood edging turned out nice. We've got two air stones. One up at the front. One at the back. And then there's our pump and downspout. Don't need too big of a pump. Just as long as it can do the vertical rise of three feet, pretty much all set. At least with the deep water culture setup I'm going to be doing. So, uh, there you go. Maybe I'll do an update video when I have a whole bunch of growing plants and fish in there. But that's all we're needing at this point, uh, besides the substrate, some plants and fish. Um, I think I'm going to do catfish and sunfish. They do well. If you're going to do tilapia, you'll need to put a heater in there. All right, well, have fun with that.